The Board of Supervisors, on April the 13th, 2010, adopted a resolution supporting the California Jobs Initiative proposed to be considered by the voters on the November 2010 ballot. If passed, implementation of Assembly Bill 32 will be suspended until California's unemployment rate is at 5.5 percent or less for four consecutive calendar quarters. Current law forces California to shift to cleaner but much costlier forms of energy by the year 2020 to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions believed to heat up the atmosphere. It will do so in phased-in implementation of a complex cap-and-trade system in which companies pay for emission quotas. In 2006, California's legislature passed Assembly Bill 32, a sweeping law designed to combat global warming. At the time the bill was signed by the governor, the unemployment rate in California was 4.8 percent. Since its adoption, California has been hit by a global recession and the state unemployment rate has now surpassed 12 percent with the County of San Bernardino's rate of unemployment nearing almost 15 percent. Supporters of AB 32 often talk about green jobs and green economy, and I have stated repeatedly that I believe renewable energy will be a key component of our regional economic future. But green jobs don't fix the problem. The California Air Resources Board's own flawed and ridiculously optimistic estimate is that the job growth from AB 32 will be minimal and that estimate was made before this historic downturn. As we all know, California is in enough trouble already. This is like throwing a drowning man an anchor. We cannot afford to implement this regulatory regime that will drive up costs, drive out businesses, and drive families to the poorhouse. Passage of this initiative could potentially save more than a million jobs and prevent devastating expense increases to families and small businesses in San Bernardino County. This is County Supervisor Gary Ovid informing you about the California Jobs Initiative.